Hello, there is uh, an aircraft uh, electronic module, Soviet made for my collection. So I get, as you can see it is big and ugly. There is a bunting plate, green painted with shock absorbers, big plug. The front plate says it is a block number 10. With some uh, info in the Cyrillic. On the top, you have several of these black things and uh, a cover with holes. We can guess there is uh, vacuum tubes inside. So, we will dig inside of it a little in order to see what it is. Maybe some uh, autopilot uh, stuff, I think. So if I remove the front cover, we just have uh, trim pots. If someone can uh, give some uh, translation for uh, this uh, phase, phase. Here, and I can read uh, barely nothing else. So I will remove it from the tin tray. Okay. It should come out of this is the bottom mounting tray. So we will first uh, dig into this bottom cover because I know it is a uh, great inside. In fact, I did make some uh, beautiful photos out of it. The outside body is ugly, but the inside is uh, pretty neat. There are uh, factory cells with some uh, wax in it. It is very common in uh, Russian electronics. So, this is the contents, as you can see. It is quite uh, beautiful. You have here a big uh, green uh, transformer. Tier 2, it is written. Potentiometer, uh, relays. We've read. Uh, things and a lot of uh, regular electronics quite regular electronics capacitors transformers more relays diodes and a net wiring overall it is really really old school electronics so, top side is more interesting. So in this we just have uh, two vacuum tubes, I think, on the small, uh, I guess yeah, some good stuff, so I have to open it anyway. Let me open it. Yeah. So when you open it for the first time, it is always a surprise because you always discover new stuff with Soviet electronics. It is very interesting thing. Always stuff to see. Okay, so here we are. So. We have, in fact, uh, I will try to set the camera at a lower point, like this. Okay. So we have. It is a little uh, too low. Like this. 
Okay. So, what do we have here? We have uh, two small vacuum tubes, two transformers, the back side of the uh, potentiometers of the uh, front panel, and a uh, tube, vacuum tubes with metal brackets. So these green things here must be some kind of delay lines, I think. No. Okay. This must be delay lines. I'll show you the side of it. Four of them. These modules here, so you only open one of them because they are all the same anyway. Because they all have a serial number on them and a reference number. So they look uh, quite similar. Let me get something smaller. See this design a lot in uh, 70s uh, uh, Soviet aircraft electronics. This is a regular uh, st uh, standard shape and it uses a lot. Small modules like this. You can replace them in the field, I think. This is a plug for it. And if you open it, what do we have? <laughs> A small uh, sound live with uh, vacuum tubes, miniature vacuum tubes. It's a pretty neat uh, design. So you can dig into inter the internet uh, some information about uh, all this stuff, but you have to search uh, Russian websites. And it is quite uh, complicated. Well, when you find something, it is all in Cyrillic in a way, so. so here is the contents for it. So otherwise the same uh, kind of electronics. You have four small vacuum tubes. Your other side is pretty much the same. So as always on the uh, Soviet components, you will find the manufacturing date. So uh, this one is uh, 78 for example, 77. It is very very uh, easy to know where to it, when it was made. But knowing where it was made is uh, really uh, another thing. In some uh, super secret factory. Somewhere in the Taiga. Somewhere in uh, far far Siberia. Or somewhere in Moscow, maybe. <coughs> okay. So the other ones are exactly the same inside. No, pretty much the same. Okay, so this was the ugly block 10 module. I will put it back together now and start to search for something else to explore. Bye bye.